amid India's efforts to expand exports of indigenous military equipment, many countries, including the Philippines, Brazil, and Egypt, have shown interest in purchasing the Arcas Air Defense Missile System. Previously, an initial success was the successful export of 15 Arca systems to Armenia in a deal worth more than $600 million. According to Indian defense officers, there are also countries in the Middle East that have shown interest in the capabilities of the Akash weapon system and its recent capability demonstration in trials. India demonstrated the capability of the Akash missile system to engage four aerial targets simultaneously at a range of 30 kilometers during the Astra Shakti exercise held by the Indian Air Force on December 12. India became the first country to have such a capability using a single firing unit. During the exercise, four targets came from the same direction in a close formation and split to attack defense assets from multiple directions simultaneously. The Akash firing unit was deployed with firing level radar, a firing control center, two Akash launchers. A total of four missiles were launched within a short span and the radar acquired and guided all four missiles towards the respective targets. All four targets were successfully engaged at maximum range around 30 kilometers simultaneously. Akash has been deployed by the Indian Air Force and the Indian Army throughout the last decade. The system is considered a medium-range air defense system developed on the basis of the technology of the 2K-12 Cup or SA-6 missile complex dubbed the Three Fingers of Death of the Soviet Union. The Akash Air Defense Complex is famous for its maneuverability, the ability to intercept targets at different altitudes. It can engage multiple aerial targets while operating in fully automatic mode. An Akash battery comprises a single Rasendra 3D passive electronically scan array radar and four launchers with three missile each and a command post, all of which are interlinked. Akash can also be deployed on many different types of chassis, the most popular being the 8x8 wheel chassis for high maneuverability. In addition to the T-72 tank chassis or an improved BMP ammo vehicle chassis. The Akash interceptor missile has a large weight of 720 kg a diameter of 35 cm and a length of 5.78 meters. The design of the missile is somewhat similar to that of the SA-6 with four long tube ramjet inlet ducts mounted mid-body between wings. Like the Russian SA-6 Gen-4, the Akash missile utilizes an integrated ramjet rocket propulsion system, which, after initial rocket motor burnout, provides sustained thrust for the missile throughout its flight until interception. The use of a ramjet propulsion system enables sustained speed without declaration throughout its flight. The missile has command guidance in its entire flight. Akash has a maximum range of 30 km and a maximum ceiling of 18 km, a maximum speed of Mark 2.5. On the upgraded Akash Mark 2 and Akash NG version, the range has been increased to 40 and 80 km respectively. 
the eyes and ears of each Akash complex is a phase array fire control radar called Rasentra, operating in the G and H band with a tracking range of 60 km. The tracking range has been expanded to three times when combined with the BSR radar and the 3D CAR radar with a tracking range of 100 and 180 km. This combination significantly improves the ability to deal with targets that are applied stealth and low flying technology. Akash Fire Control Computer System can simultaneously track 64 targets and attack up to 12 of them. It can be concluded that Akash is the Indian version of the Russian Chuk-12 Cup with remarkable improvements, significantly improved in the section of the complex. Akash deserves to be named one of the most dangerous modern medium-range air defense missile complexes today. A single Akash missile has an 88 probability of cure. Two missiles can be fired 5 seconds apart to raise the probability of cure to 98.5%. The Akash system can be deployed by rail, road, or air. According to a report by the news agency ANI, the government of India plans to increase arm exports to $5 billion. Cooperation in the defense industry will help strengthen India's friendship with foreign partners. Currently, Vietnam, the Philippines, and United Arab Emirates and a number of other countries are believed to have shown interest in India's air defense systems. It is reported that the export version of the anti-aircraft missile system will have some modifications compared to the version being deployed in the Indian armed forces to match the requirements of the customers. <laughs>